Bonjour. Vous allez voir un court-métrage réalisé dans le cadre d'un test d'anglais. Donc voilà, imaginez qu'on est dans une série comme Les Feux de l'Amour ou Dynasty, et qu'on est dans un épisode d'une de ces séries. Le court-métrage est en anglais, mais euh, vous avez les sous-titres en français qui sont, qui sont affichés. J'espère que ça vous plaira, et puis je vous souhaite un bon visionnage. Previously, in Forbidden Love. Maria, will you marry me? Oh my god, yes Alejandro. I would much rather have you as my daughter-in-law. She's not worthy of my son. I'll do anything to make him mine. I'm so happy, my friend. I feel that she's the one. I ask her to marry me. There is a high probability he lost his memory during this car crash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Baby, please try to forgive me. Stay. Where am I? Who are you? Are you okay? You got into a car accident. I was so scared. Car accident? What happened? You don't remember it? You almost died. Not at all. But who are you? You don't recognize your mother and your fiance? Fiance? Yes, honey, it's me. Everything's gonna be all right. It's a good thing that he doesn't remember us. Yeah, we'll just have to take care of Maria. How is he? Where is he? I need to see him. You're not welcome here. He doesn't even recognize you. Go away. He's better off without you. You heard her. Just go. Leave. What's wrong? Is it all right? He doesn't remember me. Veronica and Antonia won't let me see him. Oh, Maria. I'm so sorry. How has your son been doing, Antonia? Has he fully recovered? He's great. He still hasn't recovered any memory from the accident or the few months leading up to it, but otherwise he's great. He's actually seeing Veronica, Caris's daughter, and he's coming home from the hospital today. Really? Wasn't he seeing someone else at the time of the accident? Oh yes, but she's out of the picture now. Veronica is much better suited for him. Respectable family and good education. Sounds like you didn't like his former girlfriend very much. Oh no, I disliked her so much. She comes from this lower class world. Can you believe her father is a middle school teacher? She would have never been able to bring anything to her family. A teacher? Next thing you tell me, her mother is a nanny. Worse, she's a housekeeper. Oh my! You dodged a real bullet with this one. She must have been after your son's money. Ah, little gold digger. Speaking of housekeeper, did yours ever come back? No, she didn't. Can you believe that little thief? 
She just left without a word. And I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw that I was missing that little diamond bracelet that I got in Paris. She probably just took it and sold it to a pawn shop. She's probably halfway around the world right now. The nerve! It's very hard to find good help these days. You open your house to them and they just betray you without batting an eye. Get up! Get up on the cameo sound. Come on, get the fuck a horns. It is our will to let you know that we exist. So don't resist. It has already been a month since Alejandro proposed and now I can't even see him. Ricardo, has Alejandro really lost all his memories? I'm afraid so. I can't imagine how hard it must be for you, Maria, but you have to stay strong. Besides, he'll regain his memory one day. You're not a girl one can forget easily. Finally home. Do you recognize it? Go take a seat on the sofa. My son, you're home. So, how are you, my son, my beautiful son? You don't know how worried I was about you. I was so afraid. You know I love you. Thank you, mother. Okay, so I brought you some things to help you remember, honey. Let's look at it. Look. It was us in London, do you remember? I'll leave you to it. Thanks. Okay. okay. Take a look. What's this one? Oh, it's Ricardo, your best friend. You met at college. Do you remember? This rings a bell. You know, I think I should move in with you to take care of you. Even more now that you know that we're engaged. Who? Who? Who is she? I feel like I know her. Uh, I don't know how this picture got there. We don't know her. You know what? I'll go make you some tea. You look tired. You should take a nap. Thank you for being here for me. You don't have to. This means a lot. Well, it's the least I can do. We are friends, aren't we? Besides, I actually had a great time with you today. You don't have to thank me, really. Well, I'm not only talking about today. Out of all of Alejandro's friends and family, you're the only one that stayed by my side. I heard that Alejandro's finally getting discharged from the hospital today. Are you going to see him? Yes, I'm actually going to right after I get you home, safely. Well, let me know how he's doing, please. I'm very worried about him. Can you also tell me if he shows any signs of him remembering me? Yes, of course. I'll keep you posted. <gasps> I saw her! I saw her in my dreams! What are you talking about? Who did you see in your dream? Are you okay? The girl, the girl on the picture, I saw her. Why does she appear in my dream? Do we know each other? Please, tell me the truth. 
Honey, it's okay. It was just a dream. You probably dreamt about her because you saw this picture today. It's okay, just calm down. That's not answering the question. Please, tell me the truth. You have to tell me. Do we know each other? Please, tell me. Who is she? Who is she? Do we know each other? I told you, we, we don't know her. I'm coming. Hi, Ricardo, come in. It's been a long time since we've seen you. Yes, I've been a little bit busy, but I'm here to check on Ricardo. Honey, your best friend is here. Ricardo, you know the one in the picture. He's on the sofa. He may not remember you, but it's okay. I told him that you were his best friend. Okay, that's fine. Hey, Grady. What are you doing? Hi, I'm um, not too bad, but all of this looks like a dream. You know, I don't feel like I'm living my life now. I know, but don't worry. I've been by your side since college, so we know each other well. I hope you remember. Oh, really? We were in college together? How was it? It was amazing. Probably the best years of our life. You were the popular guy in college and all the girls were at your feet. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, I have the picture of this girl and Veronica acted really weird when I asked her. I know that you've been my best friend for a long time. I know that I can trust you. Can you tell me who she is? Oh, <laughs> that's weird that you have a picture of her. She, she was just a girl that chased you in college and you never gave her a chance. You didn't keep in touch and we haven't seen her in years. Okay. I was thinking for the centerpiece we could do lilies. What do you think? Lilies are great, they are a good choice. Don't you agree, Catherine? Yes, I absolutely do. Now, ladies, if you could excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Antonia, I think we have a problem. Alejandro is starting being suspicious about Maria. Nonsense, it's been a month. Why would it happen only now? Do you remember the other day when I showed him the pictures? Yes, so? So he found a picture of Maria and he asked about her. I told him that we don't know her, but I don't know if he bought it. That wasn't very smart of you, Veronica. But what makes you think that his memories are coming back? He dreamed about her and he asked me again and I keep telling him that we don't know her, but I'm scared, Antonia, I'm scared. We talk about this later. Whoa, you're doing well today. What's happening to you? You're not so bad either for someone who had a car accident not long ago. How is your recovery going? Step by step, I'm recovering. <laughs> Thankfully, Veronica and my mother are here for me. I will soon be going back to work. By the way, how is it at work for you? I have so much work to do right now. I'm organized like a sausage. It's terrible and very unfair for sausages. <laughs> sure. You know, I don't have that type of issues for the moment. I'm focusing on the essential. My friend, it's thanks to Veronica. I think you have found the right gym. This girl seems to care about you. Yes, man. She's been here for me. She lives in my house now. But. You know, I don't know. Sometimes I don't feel comfortable with her. What do you mean? She's pretty, wealthy, and totally in love with you. What do you need more? My mother thinks the same. That it would be good for me, for my family. I don't know what to think about it. Your accident is recent. You're probably still a little shaken up. Take your time, bro. I would dream to have someone like this in my life. You're probably right, bro. I'm actually about to go take the subway. Oh well, in that case, don't go anywhere. I will give you a right to work. But... No objection allowed. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Okay.
I'll be waiting for you. Antonia, what are you doing here? I'm here to tell you to back off. Alejandro is happy now. He doesn't need you sticking your nose in his personal life. What are you talking about? I... Don't play coy with me, you stupid girl. I know you're still pining after him. And let me remind you that the owner of that little restaurant you work at is a dear friend of mine. So if I ever hear that you've been trying to contact him, I will have you fired. Please don't. I need this job. I have a lot of bills to pay. Well then, it doesn't need to come to that. Just promise me that you won't go anywhere near him and you can keep your job. I promise. Good girl. I'll go get some water. I'll meet you afterwards. Okay, I'll keep running for a while. Alejandro, honey, let's get out of here. Let's take a drink, just me and you. It's impossible. There's something wrong. Ricardo? Maria, what's happening? Ca Are you okay? Can we meet, please? Sure, I'll pick you up in five minutes. Me out. I, I saw both of them, Ricardo, Veronica and Alejandro, they were hugging, but that's not all. We made eye contact and I felt like there was still the same spark that was here before the accident. But the thing is, when they were together, 
there was this complicity. And I don't know what to think right now. Calm down, Maria. Everything is going to be okay. You know, I'm here for you now. And I will always be there for you. Thank you for being here for me, Ricardo. How did I get so lucky to have you in my life? How did I get so lucky to have such a wonderful woman like you in my life? What are you talking about? You don't know anything about what happened? About the accident? I was told what happened, but I can't believe anyone anymore. And I have the feeling that the people I trusted the most lied to me from the beginning to the end. Oh, and everyone keeps lying about the girl in this picture. I don't know why. Do you know who is she? Yeah, I know her. She's your fiancé, Maria. You've been together for a while now, but your mom was against this relationship. And Sonia always wanted you to be with Veronica. You never loved her. You've been manipulated for this whole time. By who? By Ricardo. What? On the night of the accident, after you told us about your engagement with Maria, I went to my car when I saw him acting very strange. Some cars were covering my vision, but from the little I saw, it was enough for me. He was messing with your car, Alejandro. I turned around to come and tell you, but I felt him grabbing me from behind. I felt a big strike, and ever since, I have been tortured and held captive in this basement. What an awful sound. 